What's going on guys? Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build a power box. Let's go. So, first thing you need is a box. It's not Cabela's brand, but I did buy it at Cabela's. They just had these on for Black Friday for $9.99. This is a really small one. Uh, I don't want a huge box to haul around with me. So I recommend getting the smallest you can for a battery. These things are regular $14.99, so they're not crazy expensive. So this is a small one. And what I'm gonna be powering mine with is this Dakota lithium battery. You could add a wiring harness, like a DeWalt or Milwaukee battery. So when you build these power boxes, you can get the adapter and just put use a drill battery. So just make sure if you have Milwaukee drills you get the milwaukee adapter if you get the dewalt um, adapter make sure you got dewalt drills next thing you want to do is pick up some of this foam okay grab some foam anywhere anywhere use pool noodle i don't care what you use but the reason you want to use uh, the foam is you don't want your battery moving around uh, so what you want to do is use this foam to secure the battery slide that in it's already kind of snug shove this foam in here one it's going to insulate it for the cold so your batteries last longer and two ugh, it's going to keep that battery so secure in there if i wanted to i could take this thing flip it right upside down shake it that battery's not coming out it's stuck in there like it's solid the reason i say to put your battery in first is because it shows you the height that you have left in your box for running your lights and different things. I run my power um, negative and positive on this side, kind of the side where the latch is. Reason being is I like my wires running across the battery this way. I don't want them kind of bending up and over. It'll cause kinks. So I like my wires running straight along. And that brings us to this side. And this is where we are going to mount these guys. You get these from Amazon or AliExpress, They're just little LED lights. And we're just going to drill some holes and wire these guys in. There we go. Grab the first one here. It's got a little washer on the back, as you can see here. So we're going to unscrew that washer. Take your wires. And we are going to run those right through that hole. So slide that through once that's through put your little washer on and that is going to hold your light in place I'll just give it a little turn with some pliers just to tighten her up second one we're using two um, if you want you can touch them on your battery just to test if they're gonna work I can test on here yep they're working you guys can see here check that out not too shabby eh? level light up the whole room awesome put a zip tie on this or some tape on this to keep these two wires together just so they don't get pulled or torn apart so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a switch i want to be able to power my light on or off without powering the whole box. The way we're doing that is we're picking up these guys. They call this a round rocker with LED, okay? You got one negative and two positive. I'll show you how to wire that in. But first, let's mount it in the box. Two LEDs are on this side. I wanna switch right here so that it's close to them and I know that's for my LEDs. So let's put that power switch in now. So for this, um, for drilling the little rocker switch, the hole diameter is about three quarters of an inch. Now I don't have a three quarter inch drill bit, but what I do have is this guy. And it'll say three quarters on here. So I'll just keep drilling this until I get to that width. Now let's see how tight this little guy is going to be. I want it very snug, tell you the truth. <clears throat> wow, that's real snug. 
But you know what? Real snug is good. There's our little switch, okay? On, 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 on. So next, I am going to mount my USB holders. So let's do that next. We'll get everything mounted and then we can wire it all. Here, you can buy these off Amazon, AliExpress. If you look at this one, it says Quick Charge 3.0, 3 amp. It's got a little um, screen here, so it gives you a voltmeter as well as two USBs. And I got another one here. I think this is only a two amp, but it's cheap. This one will show me the voltage of the box, plus give me two USBs, and this is gonna give me two more USBs, so I have four USBs. Uh, some people use a cigarette lighter, but I just don't have a use for it. And most things are adaptable to USB. If I ever wanted to, I could always just unscrew one of these and put one in. Um, or keep the spare cigarette lighter in here if I ever wanted to swap it out. But I never ever use it, so I just use the four USBs. So let's drill these. The size for the hole of these is about one and one eighth. Um, so it's basically this drill bit here, right to the max. Almost through. Okay, we're through. So this has a little ring that's got to unscrew. It's got a rubber seal, so it's pretty well weatherproof. As you can see, this is nice and snug. That is a nice snug fit. Now, if I turn it around on this side, I'm gonna have this guy here, and that's just gonna spin on here. There, that's nice and snug. So, that's that. Let's work on the next one. So now we have both of those installed. We need a switch. We have a switch already to power on our lights. Now we need a switch to power on the entire box, the rest of it. So we've already got one installed here. I'm gonna do the exact same as I did for this up on this side. And pop this guy in. There we go. So that's what the top looks like so far. So basically, power switch for everything, power switch just for the LEDs, and four USBs. Now we're gonna add some ring terminals. 1364. And that's gonna be for my post. Okay the terminal for running like otter lights, LED lights, whatever you need. So I'm just lining this up just to mark and see where that hole is. So I put this one in here as a guide, hold it down. Now I can see where the other hole lines up to line it up perfect. And I'll drill that. Okay, so now we have that hooked up. We are gonna work on our wiring to power all of this. Goes from a connector to a little O-ring to a connector to a connector, okay? That's what you want. This is for this setup. A connector to an O-ring to a connector to a connector. And how this is going to get powered in our box is exactly like this. This is going to power all of this stuff up here. So, the positive is going to go on this positive terminal later. Just throw it on snug for now. Okay. So, from there, this positive will go on to this positive and then go on to this positive, okay? And then I'll tuck all this wire in and down here, just like so. So that's all our positive connected. Now the negative, you're gonna basically set up the same thing. One connector, one connector here, 
bridge to another one, bridge to a ring, and then finally, another one. So you're just connecting all these things, so. I'll go this negative. And this negative. And I'm pointing them the other way so that it keeps the wires kind of out from each other. This is the negative terminal for this thing. So the other wiring harness that you're going to make, I showed you the one. This one is just basically a positive with this little piggyback. So it runs two positive wires from one positive lead. So your main one is going to go to a fuse that goes to everything on the box. The other one without the fuse right here is going to go to your little LEDs. Okay, so this is going to line up over here. This one I'll keep bent back in here because that's going to be for the LEDs. Like this. This one here comes over. an older switch so as you can see here it's not really lighting up but if I flip this on boom shows my power here so guaranteed this one has power as well see it glowing so all four of my USBs are powered up with this switch this will be powered up as well so flip all that's powered up so flip that off all that goes off this powers down everything. Flip that on, it powers everything. Okay, so turn that off. Now the only thing left is I've got this negative here, which has to attach to these. And I've got a positive here that has to attach to those as well. So this positive goes right on here on this switch okay and now I just need a positive wire that goes from the other part of the switch to these and a negative part with the double end this will go here on the negative to this negative here. Once that is done, so I just need one more positive wire. The whole box is complete. Just need one red wire now for my switch right there to this positive. And this is working. Okay, so for the last red wire, I've got this set up. Little end, a little bit of shrink tubing. So. Here is what it's gonna look like. All finally done. So, here's your negative on your battery. It comes off two, two wires. Two wires come off your negative, two come off your positive. Your two that come off your positive, like I showed in the video, one's gonna have a fuse, one will not. Your fuse goes all the way up to this switch right here, and it lands in the middle, the middle port, okay? Um, your negative from here comes all the way up to the negative part on this. Now, it has a piece that comes off of this negative, and it attaches to this negative, this negative, and this negative. They're all joined. The positive comes from here, goes up to the switch, and the other wire that comes off of the switch 
goes here, 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 and the post. It attaches all them. So the po the positive from the USB, this USB, the terminal goes into the switch. The other positive comes out of here and comes back to the battery. The negative on this one here comes out of here. It, it attaches to the negative on the terminal as well as the two USBs. And the other piece of this negative comes all the way back to the negative on here. Now the second positive and negative that come off of these are specifically for the lights. So your one positive wire will come up to this switch, okay, and plug into that. The other positive comes out of this switch and it comes back to the positive on your eagle lights. The negative comes from here attaches to here, it doubles and comes back and attaches to the negative on your eagle lights that are joined together. So basically all these switches are doing are putting a break in the positive. So that way you can flip it on or off. All you do, tuck all this wiring in. Hello Figaro, my own fox fishing power box. And I did the calculation on it, it cost $36 to make this. Sorry, I'm using Dakota Lithium. So the Dakota Lithium would be like a $100 uh, lithium battery. But without that, if I was using my Milwaukee battery, including the adapter, everything, 36 bucks, this whole thing. Uh, and, and then you use your own battery from at your house. So check it out, guys. Uh, super simple, super easy, and uh, they're great to have.